All right. And we're back. Come in, citizen. Martin McFly, age 18, resident of Sector L, Father George, Mother Lorraine, president of the Junior Brown Brigade, recipient of a full-ride scholarship to Strickland College, winner of the Courthouse Challenge to Portman Award, zero demerits until this morning. The obvious question, Mr. McFly, is... What happened to you? Jesus Christ, Doc, what happened to you? Doc, interesting. You regard me as a doctor, indicating awareness that you're suffering from some variety of mental disorder. That's a hopeful sign, Martin. Of course, I'm not actually a doctor, but I do have the tools to turn you around and put you back on the road to societal normalization. Shall we begin with a few questions to establish a baseline? Whatever. Let's get through this nonsense so I can set you straight. You'll set me straight? Explain. This whole crazy world you've created, it's totally mental. There's all these stupid rules and everybody's acting all weird. My dad's turned into this creepy snoop. Mom's completely pathetic. And Jennifer's kind of scary. And Biff, it's like he's a zombie or something. And it's all basically your fault. So you believe this interview is really more about me than you? Yes. You went to all this trouble just to deliver a message to me in person? Yes. Cry for help, as it were. Yes! No way. Tell me, Mark. Is your mother on the sauce again? Forget my mother. She's not the issue here. Don't ever forget your mother, Martin. Your parents are your superiors, and respect for one's superiors is absolutely essential to the Hill Valley Order. I'm surprised your father hasn't set you straight on this point. He's shown himself to be a very obedient and cooperative citizen. You mean a warped citizen? He's supposed to be a science fiction writer, not a peeping Tom. And you're supposed to invent a time machine. Time machine? Yeah, Doc, listen to me. You don't remember it, but you built a time machine out of a DeLorean. Why? That. Why not? Just for the hell of it, I guess. Plus, the steel frame of the DeLorean dispersal, I don't know. It was important for some reason. Fascinating. Yes, yes, it is fascinating. It's it's amazing, <coughs> incredible. But you don't know it because you've never invented it. You're not the real Doc Brown. you got to believe me. And this is because... Everything got screwed up when I went back in time to 1931. Sounds like this time machine is a very impractical and dangerous invention. No! I, I mean, yes! What I mean is it's messed up a lot of things, but first, it made a lot of things better. I like my mom and my dad. It was only thanks to your time machine that they ever became successful and happy. So they're happy. But they're not, because you summoned me back in time, and somehow your timeline got messed up, and everybody else is along with it. I see. No, you don't. Think. Think back. Don't you remember me? We knew each other. When you were 18. I'm Harry Callahan. Incredible. This case is more serious than I'd imagined. The boy has fabricated an alternate reality. Yeah, and this sounds crazy. Uh, yeah, this sounds completely nuts. Um, trying to think of even how to, to do this. You think I'm crazy? I, I guess maybe I sound crazy, but you gotta believe me. Calm down, Martin. I'm not blaming you for anything. The failure is ours, not yours. Obviously, there was a drastic flaw in your social conditioning. Yeah don't understand. No, I don't understand yet, but I want to. I want to get at the root of your problem. Keep talking. Uh... 
Ah, uh, take your time. Look around the room. Perhaps something here will stick <coughs> your, your memory. So that's what Judge Brown looked like. I never actually saw him. Of course not. He died before you were born. He was my biggest supporter. After my wife, of course. That's a switch. Last time I saw your younger self, you and your dad had just had a big falling out over your decision to become an inventor instead of a lawyer. Isn't that right? Uh... An impressively detailed illusion. Keep talking. Hey, this is your fish tank. Yes, that is my fish tank. It looks much better without all the bacteria. What? Edna just had it clean. Yeah, but in 1931 it was full of bacteria that we used to make rocket fuel. Remember? I... uh... Bizarre fantasy life. Go on. You see. <coughs> Is cool. The sound, it. It's kind of lulling. Uh, right, wait, what was I doing? It's all the same stuff I saw on my dad's monitors. I think. The whole town is under surveillance. It's horrifying. Uh -huh. Okay, take a look at this picture of Einstein here. The dog. Harboring dangerous animals is a municipal offense. Yeah, yeah, they told me, but you harbored this very same animal once, a long time ago. Remember the test run of your rocket car? Einstein landed on the roof of the courthouse. I do, I, I do recall something of the sort, but naturally it couldn't have been the same dog. There wasn't anything natural about it. Einstein's a time traveler too, thanks to your invention. Stop trying to confuse me! My whole life has been dedicated to the practical use of technology to shape a more efficient, orderly society. Ask anyone. It's a fact. Go look it up. You know better, right? Emmett? I... I... Wrong. Do you see this picture? I keep it close by me to remind me of the moment when my life's course became clear. August 25th, 1931. The day I single-handedly captured Kitana, the scourge of Hill Valley. Single-handedly? And not incidentally the day I caught the eye of Edna Strickland, my scientific muse and the love of my life. Take a look. What you see there is a young man who understands his destiny. That's not what I see. What do you see? You still got the movie ticket. Indeed I do. The memento of my first date with Edna. I took her to see The Virtuous Husband. And you never saw Frankenstein. You were supposed to go see Frankenstein that night. It was gonna give you the inspiration you needed to pull off your big demonstration at the Hill Valley Expo. Inspired by Frankenstein, how whimsical, not to mention historically inaccurate. My darling wife was all the scientific news I've ever needed. From my successful demonstration of the 31 Expo all the way up to my cutting-edge Citizen Plus program. Successful? It was supposed to be a failure. Come on, Doc. Don't you remember, Einie? Move on, Mr. McFly. Doc, I mean, citizen... No, no. Focus outward, not on me. Use the objects in the room as points of reflection. I wish to observe your thought processes. Crap. I can't tell if it's a guy celebrating a touchdown or chained up in a gulag. Glass half full, Marty. Half full.
Something about that clock looks familiar. Something about that clock looks familiar. I doubt this helps us. Check Maybe. this out, Doc. It's all your notes about the flux capacitor, your greatest invention. That can't be my notebook. The handwriting is far too sloppy. Check that out. Remember this. Carl Sagan escapes. June 13th, 1931. Yes, I remember the incident back when crime went unchecked in Hill Valley. I'm the one who rescued him, and I did it with the help of your first invention, the rocket-powered drill. The rocket-powered drill? Never worked. Failed a misguided contraption with a tendency to explode. But you do remember it. need it. See this picture? In the other timeline, I've got a girlfriend who loves me. Interesting. The subject's fantasy life also includes an imaginary girlfriend. What? Oh, great. The timeline's catching up with me. I don't think that would look good there. Could that be? I think it is. What? It's me, and you, the other you. It is me, and you. But how? Harry? It's impossible! No, it's science. Your science, Doc. In this other world, the one you say you come from, am I... am I happy there? Very happy. You've got two great sons. Sons? Yes, and a fantastic wife. Not Edna? Not even remotely. And your invention. Jeez, Doc, you can go anywhere you want to, anywhere in time. You're the luckiest guy in the universe. And what about Hill Valley? Hill Valley. You know it's got problems. A little bit of urban decay here, a little bit of crime there. It's a normal city. People are happy, mostly. And even when they're miserable, they're not miserable like they are in your Hill Valley. Stop! There are no miserable people in my Hill Valley. Give me a break. You don't really believe... My citizens lead lives of order and peace. Nobody worries. Nobody complains. Only because they're afraid to. Jeez, open your eyes, will you? You and Edna have got him all terrorized. That's Mrs. Round to you, Sonny. Doc, kindly address me as your honor. We worked for over 50 years, my wife and I. Every waking moment devoted to ridding Hill Valley of vice and disorder. And you dare to claim that our citizens are unhappy? Yeah, yeah, I, I do. I've seen it. They're just too afraid to speak up. Afraid? Afraid of what? Afraid of the consequences of their actions, Doc. You run this place like it's a police state. Nonsense. I can prove it. All right then, time travel boy. You do that. And until you do, I'm going to treat your wild story as just that. A story told by a madman. And I've determined that the best treatment is simply to let the insanity run its course. So, is the interview over? Should I leave? Please do. I'm very busy. I've got a city to run. Fine, but I'll be back with proof. Doc 
Roquan's proof that Hill Valley isn't the perfect place he thinks it is, one smoking gun coming up. Dad! Pop out the tape, son. I think it's done rewinding. Oh. Whoa, whoa, take it easy. Sit here. Guess I blacked out for a minute there. Fell out of my chair. Fell nothing. Somebody whacked you. Whacked me? <laughs> Impossible. We take great pride in the fact that incidents of physical violence in Hill Valley have fallen to virtually... Ah. Who did it? Can you tell me? This can't be happening. There's got to be a clue around here somewhere. Baseball bat. Dad, that's not one of our bats, is it? No. No. McFly's never use aluminum bats. Curious. Oh, wait, don't touch it. It's evidence. Of what? A crime? Oh, why would anyone do a thing like that to a nice Sector L citizen like me? What's the last thing you remember? <sighs> I was sitting right here, copying another incriminating scene onto my... my tapes. My tapes? What happened to my tapes? Stay calm, Dad. Are they on the floor? Do you see them? They're in a box marked raw footage. Here it is. Raw footage. Thank heavens. Wait a minute. You see, I told you you were just jumping to conclusions. All these dark suspicions about thieves and attackers went all the time. It was just... Empty. What? There's no tapes. But I'm sure they were in there before. Before whoever it was whacked you in the head and took them. Oh my gosh, I've been mugged. Mugged in Hill Valley. They can't get away with it. Oh! Don't worry, Dad. We'll get to the bottom of this. Who... who could have done this to me? Who stands to lose if those tapes get out? <coughs> Everybody who's bad mouth Citizen Brown, but they didn't know a camera was on them. But that's half the people in town. No. I'm guessing this was a lone agent. Oh, it's no use. The tapes are gone. All I can do is hope against hope they don't surface and land me in trouble. Come on, Dad. We can't just give up. I mean, maybe there's some more clues around here. What's the use? Even if we find out who took the tapes, we're not going to be able to get them back without attracting attention to ourselves. There's got to be something we could do to get our hands on those tapes. Well, we can make new ones. We can? Sure. It may take a while, but if you're willing to help your old man out, it shouldn't take us more than, say, six months? Six months? But I need those tapes now. You need the tapes. Uh, what I mean is... I gotta give it to Citizen Brown. I told him I was going to furnish him with proof that Hill Valley isn't as happy as he thinks it is. And I was in his office, just before I came here. You had an interview with Citizen Brown? It wasn't easy to get, believe me. I had to break all kinds of rules. You've been breaking rules? Harboring stray dogs, kissing girls in public, getting caught with mom's flask. That is the most far-fetched story I've ever heard. It's true. You forget I'm your father. I know your history. Yeah, well... History's changed. Prove it. Read him and weep. Demerits, but... It was the only way. I don't understand. Dad, listen to me. I mean, really listen. You and I both know that things aren't right here. Citizen Brown might have started with good intentions, but his Hill Valley's just made everybody miserable. Shh! You said that to him? Basically, yeah. Oh, there go our privileges. No, wait, I, I got him to listen, Dad, and he's gonna make things right for you and Mom and all of us. I, I can't explain how. You're just gonna have to trust me on this. Okay. But first I have to show him your tapes to prove my point. Oh, no. No, 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 no. Dad. This scheme of yours. Maybe you know what you're doing. I can't say. But leave me out of Dad. it. Dad. I don't like trouble. I can't handle it. It's not in my genes. But... Why would he do it for Arthur? Unfortunately, I don't think he'd do it for his family. It's your civic duty. 
Doesn't Citizen Brown always tell us to keep our noses clean? And that's what I plan to do. Damn. Think of your family. I am. And I don't want to see my family relocated to Sector X with all the other hopeless cases. Do it for your father. My father? Yeah, Arthur McFly. I know his name. Didn't he have something to do with putting away Kid Tan and, you know, way back when? Yes. Yes, he did. Where do you hear about that? It was way back before Citizen Brown cleaned up the town, before I was even born. Everyone lived in terror of Kid Tannen and his goons. But Dad stood up to him. He had evidence of Kid's guilt, see, and he risked his life to deliver it to the authorities. Never be afraid to do the right thing. That's what he always used to tell me. And what are you doing? Trying to remember which is the right feed. Feed to what? To the surveillance camera, the one in the yard. Wait a minute, wait a minute. You have a surveillance camera trained on yourself? Of course. Gotta cover all bases. Now help me figure out which monitor I'm on. It says to keep this printout for my records. It says to keep this printout for my records. It says to keep this printout for my records. Oh my god. I'm not sure Dad would approve of me getting demerits. Oh. Because I got this. This one's for lewd and indecent uh. displays of intimacy in a public location. <laughs> Please, I barely hit a single. Okay, now we can look. W-O-P-R. Whopper. <laughs> I wonder what that stands for. Doesn't look right. That it? You're looking for the one that's trained on us. Yeah. Hmm. Never mind. Hello? How do you get to George? Ah, man, this is an aggravating. No, go down. No, not the switch. Let me get this straight. You captured this whole attack on tape? Of course, surveillance is what I do. Why didn't you say so in the first place? Come on, son. Stop dawdling and help me track down that feed. Try flipping the switches. How are we dead? Oh. That makes sense. Uh, okay, so... Switch.
There, that looks like us. So the surveillance tape must be on... This VCR. This must be before the attack. Let's see... I remember cleaning the playback heads at 5.30. The attack couldn't have been very long after. Oh, it's Biff! But it can't be him. The Citizens Plus program has rendered him as gentle as a... Kitten. Huh? huh? I can't understand it. It's not the way he's supposed to behave. Why, even the old Biff would hey, never... Wait, what's that weird flashing on his wrist? Let's find out. I knew this zoom and enhance feature would come in handy someday. Cost me a bundle at the hobby shop. It's his digital watch. I wonder why it's doing that. Hey, wait, wait, stop the picture. Can you zoom in anymore? <laughs> X11. You know what that means? Not yet. Lorraine! Don't lay into me, George. I've got something very important to say, and then I'm going to be leaving again. I've got something important to say, too. I was attacked it's and robbed. It's always about you, isn't it? You can't just wait and listen to my news. Oh, no. You have to go and beat me to the punch. That's right. You two sort things out. I've got some business to attend to. Yeah, so basically it's controlling them. I bet he has no memory of it Man. either, too. Whoa, whoa, settle down there, fella. You beat up my dad. We have a problem here, citizens? Oh, no, 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 officer, just a little misunderstanding. I'm sure we can work it out, right, Mark? Sure. Okay, let me know if you need any help, Mr. Tannen. Now let's see if we can get to the bottom of this. Yeah, let's. You don't remember beating up my father, do you? Why'd you hurt my dad, Biff? He never did anything to you in this timeline. Timeline? What are you talking about? Don't play dumb. I saw you on camera. But I can't hurt anybody. Thanks to Citizen Plus, I blow chunks whenever I even think about doing bad stuff. Oh, 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 oh. Uh, see? If you didn't beat up my dad, then where have you been for the last couple of hours? Well, I was, uh, I was... What? That's strange. I don't remember. What's the last thing you remember before your memory loss? Well, I was handing out flyers for the Citizen Plus program, just like I'd been doing all day. I just finished feeding some leftover bologna to a cute little squirrel when Miss Edna came by. Edna? Yeah, she wanted to run a, a diagnostic on my Citizen Plus watch. I must have fallen asleep or something, because when she was done, it was an hour later. And then your mom came by. So the last thing you remember before my dad got beat up is Edna fiddling with your watch? Yeah, that does sound pretty bad, doesn't it? What was my mom doing here? Oh, she was just handing over her paperwork for the Citizen Plus program. What? Oh, yeah. I don't know how to tell you this, Martin, but your mom's in pretty rough shape. Yeah, but to sign up for Citizen Plus... She was on the fence for a while, too. But after you took the blame for her secret drinking problem, she realized she needed serious help. Oh no, Mom. Great. Biff, your watch. Does X-11 mean anything to you? X-11? Is that a new band or something? Yeah, I don't go in for that new hippity-hoppity stuff. It's not a band, Biff. It's a mode on your Citizen Plus watch. Weird. I I've never seen it look like that. Heck, I can barely get this thing to stop blinking, see? <coughs> what was it, X-11? Cool! Uh, uh, 
<laughs> okay, that's weird. What's wrong with you? <laughs> Did you attack my dad? <laughs> and now we're getting somewhere. Why'd you attack my dad? You must have been hypnotized. Who put you up to this? Uh, Guess that'll have to wait until after I get the tape. Damn. Where's my dad's tape? Uh, the decycling bin? Could you do me a favor and go get my dad's tape? Uh, hey, Mr. Tin. What's up? Uh, uh, Is that McFly kid bothering you? Uh, hey, you can't go in there! Hey! Uh, Whoa! Uh, Holy smokes! W w what happened to him? I don't know. No one's ever jumped into the decycling bin before. Well, where does it go? That information is above my pay grade. Oh, jeez. I'm in a lot of trouble now. Don't move a muscle, McFly. I gotta go tell Citizen Brown about this. Uh, I've got a really bad feeling about this. Oh, here goes nothing. Gosh, ma'am, did I do something wrong? Did I do something, Mr. Tannen? I put a lot of work into honing you as the first Citizen Plus. What on earth possessed you to assault a police officer and dive headfirst into the decycling bin? Did I do all that? Lord, I thought your father was dim. No, really, I don't remember doing anything like that. The last thing I remember, I was showing that nice McFly kid my watch, and then I'm down here and you're yelling at me! McFly? Uh, McFly... Strickland. Oh, hi, Martin! Give me the tapes, Edna. Mr. Tannett, please restrain our guest. Uh, uh, Stop! Stop! Oh, no. Uh, uh. Look over there! It's beer! Beer? Uh, Tannin! Focus! Uh, Edna, what are you doing? What I've always done. Keeping Hill Valley safe from hooligans like you and your father. Look at all these unhappy faces on your father's videotape. Well, Citizen Plus will turn those frowns upside down in no time. Uh, candy! No? Come on, Biff! Snap out of it! Okay, watch. Come on, Biff! Snap out of it! Ah! Biff! Isn't that the license plate to your car? Sheila? What's going on? Biff Howard Tannen! Obey your programming! Ah, ah. You see, Mr. McFly, thanks to the enhancements I've made to the Citizen Plus program, I can bring even the most rabid of dogs to heel. Oh dear, Mr. Wilson, you have been a naughty boy. It's your favorite show. Damn, what would really get Biff's attention down here? Come on, Biff, snap out of it. Ah! Come on, Biff, snap out of it. Ah! Bye. 
I think Mark will be a nice citizen plus candidate. Don't you, Mr. Tannen? <laughs> what did you do to Biff? I've unleashed the full potential of the Citizen Plus program. Edna! Shush! I'm reviewing your father's tapes for Citizen Plus recruits. Edna! Shush! I'm reviewing your father's tapes for Citizen Plus recruits. Damn. Come on, Biff. Snap out of it. Ah! Come on, Biff. Snap out of it. Knock it off! Biff, you don't want to do this! Biff, stop! Biff, stop! Come on, Biff! Snap out of it! Ah! Biff, it's your favorite show! Damn! What would really get Biff's attention down here? Women? It's no use struggling, Mr. McFly, with his theta amplified state. Mr. Tannen is more than a match for your youthful vigor. Look! Candy! No? Look! Candy! No? Oh. God. I didn't realize you could move the camera all over. Okay, so we can you look for other things. Novelties? Biff, whoopee cushions. You never had much of a sense of humor. Nah, I didn't. I uh, should have known you'd be trouble someday. Your whole family's nothing but a bunch of hooligans and slackers. I don't think the dog's gonna help, but when we knock. Einstein? <laughs> uh, doggy? Where am I? Tannen? I didn't go behind my namby pamby husband's back so you could wallow in your vices. Uh... Oh. Come on, Biff. Snap out of it. Ah! It's no use struggling, Mr. McFly, with his Theta Amplified state. Mr. Tannen is more than a match for your youthful vigor. Hey, it's Wild Gunman. Not a fan of video games, huh? Pinball parts? Biff, aren't those your favorite cigars? Cubans? Tannen, listen to me! Uh, babes? Booze! Uh, An overload. <laughs> what? Oh, 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 mommy! <laughs> Tannin, get up, you useless slacker! Come on, Edna, give the poor jerk a break. A break? You sound like my wishy-washy husband, always trying to find the good in people. Never wanting to accept the fact that some people are just born bad. Maybe, but that doesn't give you the right to turn them into zombies. Now, give me my dad's tapes so I can- You mean those tapes I erased while you were struggling with my zombie? What? Come on. Utopias are fragile things, Mr. McFly. Especially when overseen by minds as distractible as my husband's. No. No! Edna! Doc? Emmett! What are you doing here? I came down here to investigate a troubling report involving Mr. Tan. Doc, you gotta stop her. She- Silence! Okay. 
I was concerned there might be a flaw in my Citizen Plus program. Imagine my surprise when I found my wife perverting my life's work. Is this what it's all been about, Edna? All those years? All our struggles to cure society's illnesses? Just to create a world where free will can be turned off with a flick of a switch? Oh, please, Emmett. You wanted this just as much as I did. Remember? If only we could tell someone to stay off the grass and so help us, they would never tread foot on a well-manicured lawn again. That's what Citizen Plus does. It makes rules unbreakable. I only gave it the slightest of changes. Enough. We will not have this discussion here. But Go home and wait for me. Fine. Done. I'm sorry about Edna, Doc. She didn't seem so bad back in 1931. No, she wasn't. When we were first dating, she was so spirited, principled, compassionate. When did I lose her? Doc, don't be so hard on yourself. This Hill Valley may be a little messed up. Okay, a lot messed up, but you were just trying to help people. Or was I just entranced by the challenge of transforming the human psyche like so many chemicals? I'm sure he wouldn't blame you for all this, Doc. He was so happy when I gave up my childish dreams in favor of Edna's more practical pursuits. Are you proud of me now, Father? Ah, enough following. What's done is done. It's time to look forward. Maybe, but maybe not. What? Your notebook, from the other timeline. Not this foolishness again. Look, you can use it to repair the time machine and fix all this so it never happened. Everyone could be back the way they're supposed to be. You, Edna, Jennifer, my parents. Doc, he once told me if you put your mind to it, you could accomplish anything. Well, accomplish this. There's a lot of empty pages. The only one you need is right here. I got a question. Oh. Great Scott. I just realized that. <coughs> um... Unfortunately, success me. This, this could work. It'll take time, of course, but once it's done, we'll have all the time in the world. Ha <laughs> ha! Doc, Martin, we must get started at once. Come on. We bring Einie along. The dog. Yes, of course. You know, I used to love dogs before Edna came along. You don't say. I'll go ahead and start preparing a lab. Edna will be furious, but who cares? We've got a time machine to fix. Woohoo! Yeah, I got a quick question. Um, if he's been with Edna this entire time, then how the hell does the book still have all the information in it? Because he went and came up with the ideal for the flux capacitor. I mean, he could have still came up with the ideal for the flux capacitor. But then the book wouldn't exist, and my eyes have gone cross-eyed again. Um, <laughs> that's why you don't screw with time. <laughs> I don't smoke, and I should really go get Einstein. Ah, we need a cigarette. X-ray specs, joy buzzers, trick gum, classic. Why would anyone ban these? Good question. My daughter would love that stuff. There is a serious lack of privacy in this town. Maybe I could... Nah. Doc, 
Jack will need me clear-headed to build his new time machine. Don't worry, Biff. Once I get back to 1931, you'll be back to Jerkville in no time. I, ironically, I kind of prefer him that way. <laughs> Beatles, Stones, Phil Collins, Edna took all the good stuff. Hey, maybe I'll grab a couple for the road after I get Einstein. Wow, it still works. Boards. I should pick one up after I free Einstein. All right, let's get Einstein out. Don't worry, boy. I'll get you out of here in no time. Why are you growling? McFly. Ah! Hey, Biff. You okay? Yeah, I'm okay. Better than I've been in a long time, you know. So you remember... That witch making me do stuff? Yeah, she'll get what's coming to her. No one tells Biff Tannen what to do. No one. Hey, I I'm the guy who snapped you out of it. Really? Because all I remember is a punk kid who thought it'd be funny to make me jump down a hole. Ah. Uh. Down, Biff. I uh, stay. All right. McFly. Oh crap. All right, McFly. Time to race the music. Face. It's face the music, you idiot. Was that supposed to scare me or something? I guess not. Uh. I hope I don't run out of rock. Get a miney. Place your bets. What the f Ow. Ow. Let's get out of here, Einie. Ah. Sorry I took so long. Biff came around and jumped me. I totally laid him out with the old ruler. Martin McFly. Edna? It's almost impressive how many years of work and planning you nearly ruined in just a few short hours. Where's Doc? Oh, Doc. My husband is in a better place. Better place? What have you done to him? Relax, Martin. We've got everything under control. Well, that's horrifying too. Because now he's going under, I guess, the citizen man. <laughs> Here's the next real story. I'm a Marty McFly from an alternate timeline. And uh, why? Because you're weak, Emmett. What can I say? She's my muse. I'm not sure I like where this is going. It's almost embarrassing how devoted he is to me. You gotta believe me, Jennifer. This whole town's gone crazy, and Citizen Brown and I are the only ones who can fix it. 
There is no future for us. Yeah, so this was an interesting episode. Uh, horrifying in a lot of ways. <laughs> um, I think... Uh, I think Michael J. Fox was still pretty sick at this time when this game came out. I don't know exactly. The guy that got playing him is uh, Marty's not doing too bad. Uh, anyway, um, we'll let the credits play out. Uh, once this ends, uh, we will uh, end the video. Uh, watch it. A lot of interesting stuff here, though. I still don't think Etna's really that bad, to be honest with you. I think, uh, you know, she went to the extremes. But, uh, I don't know. I guess we'll see, find out more about four. I don't agree with what she did to her husband. You know. uh, but, yeah, anyway. So, I'm a very good gamer. Y'all take it easy, and I'll catch you next time.